So a topic that comes up a lot in regard to finding factories in China, communicating with factories in China, and setting up your own product manufacturer in China is Alibaba. Is it a good place to go to find factories, source components, and communicate with factories? Look, from my perspective, Alibaba is a good starting point. If you don't have networks in China, if you don't have boots on the ground in China, and you really have no other way of beginning the process of finding factories and communicating with factories, there are definitely some pitfalls to look out for in using Alibaba, and these will kind of also highlight why it's a good starting point, but certainly not the be all and end all of setting up manufacturing in China. So, number one to be aware of is that a lot of the companies listed on Alibaba are not actually factories. So, you're not dealing direct with factories all of the time. And obviously, most people who look through Alibaba expect to be dealing with factories. And although these companies will all pose as factories. There are many companies that are trading companies, so basically middlemen, for lack of a better word, and um, some other forms of companies which are even worse to deal with. And so we will be doing a uh, topic later on which goes into how to identify whether you're dealing with a factory or a trading company or something else. But um, at least to be aware that that is often the case. Number two, um, pricing on Alibaba is all but meaningless. So the pricing on Alibaba is really to hook you in. It gives you a very broad, I suppose, benchmark of what you may be looking to pay for that specific item that you're looking at straight off the shelf. But if you're looking to set up your own product, then you're going to have a lot of, even if they seem like small changes, you're going to have a lot of changes. You may not be happy with certain parts of a product that where the quality isn't what you're after, so they have to upgrade certain things. And by the end of it, you're going to be paying a very different price. And so if you look on Alibaba, you take those prices and you use those prices to calculate unit costs and stuff. By the end of it, you're going to be quite far off the actual price of what you're going to be paying. So look, the pricing, I would look at it, but not really worry too much about it. You're looking more at what are they selling? Is it kind of in the realm of what I'm looking for? And can we start discussions around what I'm actually after? And if, once again, if you look at it as a starting point and you don't focus so much on the pricing, then you won't get burned there later down the line when the pricing becomes very different. 